We've been brainwashed pretty badly about tap water, but using it can save a lot of money and a lot of plastic. So wherever you live, Christina Guerrero is taking your tap water from H2 to H2O on the to-do list. Water, we use it to drink, cook, wash, and around 60% of your body is made up of it. So how do we make sure that your tap water is tip top? The first step, test it. Every city has a annual water quality report. Bob Chrisman at Eco Water System says that this report is like your water Bible. They're gonna give you information based on what they found in your water during that year, what they've done to correct it and so forth, and other things you may need to be concerned with. You can access it by going to epa.gov backslash CCR. Put there to give you confidence in your water. This will show you what contaminants are actually in your water, from chlorine levels to lead and copper. But how do you remove them? That's where the next step comes in, finding your filter. We asked home inspector Tom Kratler to show us some of the ones that he recommends. And you can start with something as easy as a filter pitcher. These start around 15 bucks, but they only process around 40 gallons of water before you have to change the filter. From there, you could step up into what's called point of use systems. There's two. Meaning that you're using filtered water not only when you drink, but also when you wash your food and hands. You can get a faucet mounted filter from $20 to $30 and attach right to your faucet just like this. And you'll get about 100 gallons from the pure product. If you want to hide that filter, you can move it under the sink. These are going to be more pricey, ranging from 70 to around 400 bucks. This one mounts in your sink cabinet. The final step, check for certification. What a consumer really needs to do is arm themselves with information. The Water Quality Association and the National Sanitation Foundation will perform tests on water treatment products to make sure they actually do what they say they do. They don't have any skin in the game as far as when it comes to um, companies. They're strictly a third-party organization. Tapping into a clean supply of water on the to-do list.